Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video on farming weapon proficiency, XP and mastery rank. First up, this is the location that we're gonna do it. It's located in Fortress, Fallen Ark, and it's this void mission here. It's electric, so highly recommend that you bring Bunny for this. Here is the method that you're going to do. You're gonna run here like this. Uh, it's just from earlier. Get your electric up, run into this wall, and double jump and that's literally all you have to do it takes about 30 seconds to clear the entire void fragment you'll kill around 100 enemies and from my testing this seems to be the most efficient way to get uh, we weapon proficiency as quickly as possible um, there's a few things to note about this farm oh, you will have to activate your v again if you're paying attention I am not, and there you go. That one was probably a bit slower than I usually do. About 30 seconds. I can get it a little bit quicker, but as you can see, we got proficiencies, and yeah, it's very, very quick. So first thing I want to do is mention the fact that we're hopping into the wall because Bunny doesn't discriminate between vertical movement and horizontal movement for the purposes of proccing. Right, so if you've got your V up, she doesn't care whether or not you're moving vertically or horizontally, which most people probably realize in practice but don't actually think about. So when we do have our V up and we're bunny hopping, it will trigger, it will proc constantly. And that's basically the reason why we're just running at the wall. It gives us the ability to jump up it and get a little bit of movement at the same time so our V constantly procs. Your passive does proc, but it's not really that useful with just getting all of our damage from our V here. If we look at the Descendant modules that we're running, this is basically it. The most important thing is the AOE, so I recommend getting maximized range and skill expansion. Uh, MP Collector is kind of good as well. If you want to activate your C, sometimes you won't have enough electric charge in order to um, continue running it, so you can either run and quickly get one of the MP pickups or, or do whatever. And then the other things that you want to do is pick up, like again, skill cooldown, skill power modifier, crit rate, all of this is optional. The most important thing I suppose is, is gonna be the, uh, the cooldown. Uh, if you can get any duration as well, that also works. So we basically want full uptime in the circle to be as big as possible and then just damage wherever else. This is overkill, you don't need to do it to this stage. Uh, just as a note, I did try electric charge. This doesn't work. Like it, it increases the, the, the passive ability. You need to hit a hundred enemies with it before it'll start to proc and it doesn't increase the damage so don't even waste your time it's kind of a shame that that's in the game but yeah okay sera sera uh, i recommend doing the solo you don't need to do it in a group if you are doing it with other people you run the risk of them activating the mission first and you're not going to get full xp to be honest i think 30 seconds is the optimal time you'll probably get it down to 25 um if i'm doing it perfectly i think 25 is around where it is but you know it's very 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 slim margins okay now in regard to damage make sure that you have the optimization condition of your reactor online so in this case i'm passively leveling up a submachine gun the main weapons that i'm gonna run to level up are these two the reason why you want to put this passively leveling up is that it gets XP, but it gets XP at a much lower rate. So it only gets 20% of the XP that the main weapon that you're holding is getting. What I will mention is that I got 28 levels. So I got pretty much what you can see here in 30 minutes, which is really, really a good farm. I also farmed enough within a 30 minute test to get around 12,000 mastery rank. So you're gonna get about 24,000 per hour. If you're trying to go for mastery rank, and nothing else i mean i guess it's a method but it's really really slow so i wouldn't recommend doing that i just get it passively it seems to be the better way to go also on the external components there is one that gives you firearm proficiency game multiplier this literally doesn't work there's no point you having it so don't worry about using that i don't even know if the buff that you get um, from various sources such as server downtime whatever else i don't know if this works i guess i'll find out in a day in 14 hours because i've got some numbers that i can cross reference um what else do i want to talk about if you are going for mastery rank all of your weapons take them up to level 40 
that will give you the most amount of mastery XP. You actually get more XP per proficiency that you put into the weapon, basically. It's not a lot, but take them up to 20. So don't, don't level them all up to 20 and then go back through it, just straight up to 40. It's the easiest way to do it. Legendary weapons will actually give you more as well. So consider running with the legendaries, get all of those to level prof uh, proficiency, level 40 as well. When you're farming this, you'll also get gold. It's about 900,000 per hour. It's not a huge amount, but it's better than nothing. You also get an incredible amount of void shards, way more than I will probably ever need. As you can see here, the monomer I've got 3,800, and then for the inorganic, I've got 925. Okay, it's a shame we don't get these two, but this will actually take quite a lot of pressure off of having to farm these in future when you want to start opening up the uh, bigger patterns because in some instances i know you have to use like 30 or something like that so having a decent case of these really helps as well unfortunately you don't get many other drops you'll get a little bit of passive uh, you'll get a little bit of passive kuiper from modules that you can destroy and yeah you that's everything on this one guys thanks for watching remember to subscribe i'll have more videos shortly